So the Lunar Flashlight is a NASA mission which is looking for ice on the surface of the moon in the South Pole region. We think there's the ice there. There's a lot of evidence, prior evidence that there is ice there, but it's never been mapped. Uh, one of the things that Lunar Flashlight will do is produce a sort of a topo map of the surface of the South Pole and show us where these ice regions are. And uh, it's a small spacecraft. It's going to be launched from Earth and go on a uh, orbit that takes it around the moon. And then it will fly very close to the moon in the South Pole. And it'll bounce a laser off of the surface of the moon. And from the return of the laser, you can tell what you're, what you're looking at. NASA asked us if we would be interested in integrating the full spacecraft for them. They had built the other pieces of the spacecraft, and all of those pieces came here to Georgia Tech. And with the help of uh, Georgia Tech Research Institute, we were able to put all the pieces together into the single overall spacecraft. And then while that was going on, NASA said, that's great. How would you like to operate the mission at the moon, which was incredible. To me, this mission represents a change in the um, technology of satellites. And we're going to see more university satellites on this level being able to uh, go beyond Earth and explore things further out in the solar system. It's really exciting, I think, every time to build something that goes into space. Um, but it's something really special to make something that goes beyond low Earth orbit. Um, and so I think it's it's. I, I can't really quantify it in words how cool it is to build something that, that is going into uh, like deeper space.